Hello, YouTubers. Okay, this is uh, another update of my marine tank. Uh, before I get to that, let me just quickly show you over here. This is my little tropical. I say little. It's 150 liters. Awesome tank. As you can see, lots and lots and lots of plants. It's really cool. Got some funky rainbow fish in here. Really, really cool. And there's my prize fish. My half moon butterfly platinum fighter fish. Very cool. I think he's awesome. There's my rabbit snail. You can see him. Anyway, on to what I'm actually doing this video for, which is my marine tank. Okay, so, update. As you can see, biggest changes is the giant toadstool is now gone. Hey, which means I have more room for other corals, which is really, really cool. I've turned off the T5 lights and just run in my LED strip. That's it at the moment. Um, simply because of the fact that I was having a really bad siren outbreak, which I can only say is probably due to the fact that the T5 bulbs need replacement and the spectrum of change. So I'm trying my best not to run them. Sorry about the dog. That's this little fluff ball right here. Anyway, so big change obviously is the toaster's gone. I have a couple of new additions. I have now got a Coral Beauty, which you might have seen a minute ago. And I have a six line Rass, which is somewhere. Uh, I lost one of my clownfish. Don't know why. I personally think is the fact that I put the six line Rass in and he was really stressed out and probably really, really, really like spooked and probably took it out on my other clownfish, which was the weaker one out of the two. My female clownfish is quite happy, very nice, hosting in my pom pom coral right now. Uh, I will be getting a bigger rose anemone for him to host in just because it'll be nicer. Okay, so I don't know where the six line rass is, so I can't show you him. Coral Beauty is in and out of the rocks. There's my little rose and enemy at the moment, which is quite small, which obviously won't be sufficient for him to host in. There's my sulfur goby, which is probably the best fish in here. I love him. He's got a right little personality. He's like a grumpy old man. Um, Brain Coral, Holson Zenia. I've got two types this time. I moved the other piece. I moved it just below this one. So if you can see it just there, it's not happy at the moment, but hopefully it will attach and be happy and thrive just as much as that one. There's my white button star polyp. Button polyps, green and orange. There's my clownfish. Never camera shy. Uh, watermelon but Morton uh, watermelon mushroom long tentacle pom pom green medusa which for some reason has decided to bend and come out sideways rather than up uh, yeah done that one there's my orange recordia love this absolutely bright as anything then I got my pineapple. Not really got much growth out of this. Got my small toadstool. Some more green button polyps. Uh, there's a small clump of yellow polyps there, which never really came out. And I'm guessing because the toadstool was always shattering over it, the giant one. So I'm hoping now it'll come out more. Feather duster. And this. This is my clownfish's bed. When my lights go off, you'll venture over in here and 
basically spend the night in this. I did get it originally for them to spawn, but now obviously that I haven't got the mail, kind of ain't gonna work. But he still uses it as a bed. Oh, there's my six line wrasse. Hey! That is a really nice fish. I like that fish. Eats frozen foods, so I don't have to worry because obviously the mandarin will go around eating all the pests. He will eat as much as he can, but he will still eat frozen. My mandarin is not yet eating frozen, so there's a little random green mushroom. Okay, nothing else has really changed. <clears throat> Still got the same hard. Oh, green chromas sitting up there. Same hardware. Still got three fans running. Heater, digital heater. Hang on the back. Mechanical skimmer. <clears throat> Maybe you can see that. Let me turn on the light, make it easier. Yeah, so there's my hang on the back mechanical filter at the moment, which is running a Lumifos. I'll leave that in for another probably three weeks and then I'll change for carbon. There's my hang on the back protein skimmer, which is bubbling just yet. Sorry about the barking, the dog decided to go nuts at the postman. Anyway, so, that is it, the copyright down the bottom there. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's there anyway. And that's basically it. I will be making a lot more YouTube videos. Um, obviously progress with my tank, also trying to give out information and stuff. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get a few subscribers and stuff and I'll start making some videos. Next video I'll probably make is the best way to multiply your coralline algae. Which I have done very well. It's all over my side there. Covering my entire back wall. I'm starting to get some on this side. I don't want it on the front glass obviously because of the fact I want to be able to see into my tank. But um, yeah, my next video will probably be the best way to to multiply that. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get a few subscribers. And then we'll go from there. There's my Mandarin and Core Beauty. My Core Beauty keeps mistaking my six line wrasse for a cleaner wrasse and keeps harassing him and saying, clean me, clean me, clean me. But anyway, um, so yeah, please subscribe and then I will make some more videos. Um, you'll also see the progression of this tank now that I've got rid of the giant toadstool, so I will be able to put more corals in. I will be upgrading my lights from, <coughs> from these LEDs to a hang on over the top. Uh, iLuminaire 900 from TMC um, I just need to get a lid sorted, a glass lid cut to size and that will be job done yeah 